Hey everybody, thank you all for checking out this episode, hitting that thumbnail. It does mean a lot, thank you very much. If you could possibly leave a like as well for the video, that would help as well. Now then, for this episode I am going to be working on Semper and Victor, whatever that is. Doesn't actually say in the pit boy So yeah, that's why I'm back at the police station. So let's go and see what the Brotherhood want. Yeah, I usually end up siding with um, the railroad because the Brotherhood of Steel and the. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Are you upset that I'm staying? Maybe. Got enough trouble stomping muties and ferals. I don't need something else to worry about. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Are you going to teach me this code of ethics? If you were paying attention in Arcjet, you should have learned some of it already. The rest will become apparent as you spend time with your fellow soldiers. Now, since I know you're eager to get started, I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. Now, before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of Initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Why can't you promote me beyond Initiate? Only an Elder can promote you beyond Initiate. After we get the transmitter up and running, I'll call in and see what I can do. Thank you. Thanks are necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Initiate. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable. Because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier. Okay, I think if memory serves, he's more of a go to wherever and kill a bunch of ghouls, and she's like, go to wherever and pick up this gizmo Scribe. and do dad. Are we still giving you the cold shoulder? Why does he hate me? He doesn't hate you. Reese bleeds brotherhood. It's all he cares about. It's his family. It's his whole life. If anything else comes into the picture and gets in the way, he shoves it aside. Is there something between the two of you? That's none of your business. Look, just give Reese some time. I'm sure he'll see you're a valuable member of the team, and he'll come around. So, are you ready to take on your first assignment? Ready. Great. Let me explain what I need you to do. One of the Brotherhood's most important duties is the recovery and preservation of technology that was lost when the bombs fell. I have a list of locations that contain artifacts we need you to recover in order to have them cataloged and studied by our scribes. Here, this should cover all the information you'll need to find your first artifact. Good luck, and be careful. Yeah, so this is basically a random... Like, so, uh, one of the reasons you can't complete the game, I expect, then get like a complete everything and everything is because this this quest here is like um, repetitive so you can just keep going up to her and asking for these quests and she'll keep giving them because the item just spawns randomly in like random places the good thing is you can get paid around 200 caps per quest so it's easy money at least all right
Okay, I don't think there's any, so... I don't remember the team, I should assist Night Reason. So I assume I just do an assignment for them? Alright. Where am I going? Oh my god! What? Uh, what is that? As... What? Oh, it's miles away. Um... Ah, oh, screw it. Alright, let's see how far I can get. I got like 20 minutes, 25 minutes to do the rest of this episode. I'll see how far I get. Uh, which isn't very far, it seems. Oh god. Why would you make your camp here, of all places? It's like a freaking zombie movie. Alright, you know what? Screw this. I'm gonna go and see Kellogg. That is ridiculous. That's because... I think that is because... I... installed Far Harbor. And I, I don't know what... A, a, a quests might... cover other regions, like other maps. So there's Nuka World and there's Far Harbor, and I think Far Harbor starts somewhere up there. Ugh. Right. I'm not doing that. This is too far. I haven't discovered enough of the map yet. What I will do though is make a start on oh, good neighbour and University Point. So what I will do though is make a start on um, Kellogg's quest line. See if I can't finish that. Ah, oh, that is ridiculous though. <laughs> it's just like off the map. It's like, no, I'm not doing that. Not at my level, anyway. Like, I'll be ready to go up there when I'm like level, what, like 20 maybe? Possibly. No, right, let's make a start on this one, finally. But yeah, I feel like this is because this is my first uh, big open world walkthrough, like for an open world game. Uh, like I've tried in the past, but walk like comment commentated walkthroughs haven't really been my thing. I've always gone with the more no commentary approach, so hence why I'm redoing this one. Well, not redoing, but just playing it again with commentary. Plus it's not going to be like a main sort of thing. Like a main sort of walkthrough I put. I'll probably put this more as like a daily release in the background. Of like modern games and so on. Yeah, I should probably... Back to data. Take these off. There you go, reunions. What? What's this doing? I have to go downstairs. Chained up on the other side. All right, so I can't do that. Uh, up and about then, I suppose.
Um, but with, with, with truth personality mode. Uh, fire brigadier. Why not? Oh god. Yeah, someone's come in, you think? <coughs> what? Why is he firing at me? <coughs> Alright, I hear technology. Go wait. Uh why why what why is this Protectron shooting at me and not them? It's favoritism, I tell you. Favoritism. They are robots, I'm not. Oh my god. This is madness. <laughs> oh god. Why? What? Where, where did all these guys come from? I just shot at one. Next thing you know, I'm getting shot at from all directions. What? Nick, what are you doing? Get up. I can't imagine a stim pack helping a synth, but whatever. That's more like it, Nick. Okay, I'm gonna go for the rifle, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go for a different one. What is this one? Institute Rifle. Wasn't there another one? No, ah, okay. I'm gonna go for that one. Because hopefully this one doesn't have a... Yeah, okay, okay, I can do this one. That being said, that does 17 damage. That does 26. Damn, was that both arms? Yeah, both arms. Well. Wow. 
barrier my target has has disappeared. Okay, I'm slightly lost. Ah, right, that's where we were. Just went around in a giant circle. Alright, back here. What was that noise? Please lower your weapon. Yeah, what do you want? Hey, do something for you? Nick. Hey, let me ask you something. Is something wrong? Well, I, I sort of had the same question. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Why do you ask? I just had a hard go with the uh, transition myself. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. Folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. When security finally put enough holes in him to drop him, they say he was full of servos and sprockets. Just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. That was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. M massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. 
Didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going beep, beep, beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. You're not a spy, right? Testing, testing, hello, Institute, can you hear me? Hell if I know. If I am, the Institute's plan to gather intel on all the runaways of the Commonwealth has been going off without a hitch. Was it hard settling in? Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to a good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? The good thing about this game is, that, as well, is that all the characters have very interesting backstories, like all of the companions. Okay. Huh. Security's too tight. Uh, Nick, old pal. Hey. See what I can do. Think you can unlock that terminal? Good plan. But I bet you forgot to open for business. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get. True, we should, but I am in no way ready to tackle Far Harbor just yet, so that'll be a while off. Eh, at least not going anywhere, yes. she's fine. Greeting party. Going down. Hostile sensor reading detected. Where's Nick? Oh god. Oh. Freaking. T-800 bear.
Okay, head down here. So I think we have to go down the stairs. It's the only way to go. Let's see if I can get down them. There you go. Nick, damn it, get out of there. I don't want to spend a stim pack on you, if I can help it. If you cut them off right there, it, he sounds very considerate. Like he's apologizing that the vault was in such a bad state. What a swell guy. So yeah, don't touch the moving parts. That's good advice. I get the sense that unless you put enough points into uh, into perception, I think, then that really is just a waste. Look, you're pissed off. I get it. I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not going to go your way. Wow, that broke quickly. They didn't want it open. They should have bought a better lock. Huh? Exactly. See, Nick. Nick gets it. Uh, let's take the camera. Take all the money. Hey, what's the plan? Wait there. I'll Come on. Put. So, what did I take? I can't remember. <laughs> what did I grab to... Oh yeah, it was armor, wasn't it? Uh, take that, take that. Um... Take the visor as well. Take that, take that. Take that, take that. Okay, let's go. Whoa. How did I not see that there?
Where is Nick? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Now is the time to grab whatever I can. Might be some use. I was going to say useless junk, but it might be some useful junk uh, in here. Like moldy fool, uh, food. Fooled. Energy weapons! Arrive at peaceful resolutions by using superior firepower. Permanently gain plus 25 critical damage. Oh, cool. Nick. Uh, uh, Heads up. Carry more of my crap. Thank you. Uh, yeah, take that. You can take that pipe revolver pistol as well. Shock baton. There's something you need. Yeah, I'll take all the, uh, as much of the health stuff as I can carry. Was that it? Radaway and Medex? Or buff out? You got guts and determination. It's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Fort Hagen Armory password. Where is... The Fort Hagen Armory, though. Movement detected. Curious. <laughs> Damaged. Sustained a head wound. Perception impaired. I'm under attack. Okay, me and Nick are forming a fairly good team, I think. Especially because I've given him so many weapons now, he has some variety. Found the armory. Stay.
Stimpaks. Uh, hopefully this got some useful junk in it. Oh, come on. I. It's, it's like a love-hate relationship with the lock-picking mechanic in this game. I mean, I do like it. It can be a fun little minigame. But then there are other times like this where it's just a pain in the ass. Ah. Yes. I'm gonna have to come back down here, I think. If not for anything else but the fat man in the mini nuke, I'm gonna have to come down here for that. Okay, I need to first aid up. Oh, I can't run again. Uh, I really hope you can it's carry on. all this. On. God, oh, you might try to ambush us. I'm more surprised there ain't no, like, turrets in this room. Just seems to be the general gist of this, like, map. I go into one room, there's like a turret somewhere, I go into another room, there's like a turret somewhere. Nice. Okay. You made it. I'm just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Look alive. All ears. Let's talk. Well, this could either go very well or very badly. Okay, so time for some revelations. Where is my son? Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away? That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah oh well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. So where is it? This institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the institute. The institute finds you. You open the closet. It's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. 
Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Question is, are you? Oh god, that thing takes down a lot of health, doesn't it? Uh, okay, I'm gonna quick save. What the hell? Okay, almost done. Oh my god, he keeps... Oh, he's healing himself. I took his head off. Nice. Good job. Bastard. Hurting anyone else. We should take a look around. Get all the intel this place can hide. We'll be taking that. Okay, what was the other synth? A shot too, there's one. Okay. Well, that was fun. This looks out of place somewhat, doesn't it? <laughs> to be fair, a lot of the stuff here looks a bit out of place. Institute tech for you. Well, he's a headless body now, so he's not going to need his clothes. Just a waste, really. The boy Sean successfully delivered back to the Institute. Payment received. New orders to track down Renegade. Gathered reinforcements. Cleared out and secured Fort Hagen. We move out soon. Hey, Valentine. So, Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't know where the Institute is. And they built me. 
You don't know anything, Nick? Look at me. I'm trash. They threw me in the junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. Didn't exactly leave me the house keys. <sighs> We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way. Talk this through. How could Piper help us? Trust me, that dame knows a lot more than she lets on. And she lets on a lot. If I know her, she's done her homework. And we need to talk this through with someone. Yeah, that's a good plan. Uh, let's go. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker, but it won't last forever. All right, now the question is how the hell do I get out? Ah, okay, never mind. Question answered. Came in one door, go out the other. This seems rather awkward, doesn't it? Just in close proximity, all I can see is Nick staring at me. Roof access. Okay, so it's from here on in that the Commonwealth becomes more of a war zone, now that the Brotherhood are here. Because out of all the factions in the game, like there's like four, really. Three, well, um, yeah, there were four, I think. There's like Brotherhood, the Institute, the Railroad, and the Minutemen, which is kind of like your own faction. Because in the very last mission, instead of you got an option really to recruit either one of the like either one of the three, but in the last mission you have an option of just going to the Minutemen and being like, yeah, I need your help. Because if you do the Minutemen quest line and become their general, they have to take your orders basically, so they become your own little personal army. All right, that right there though, when you step out of the building and the Predwin comes out of nowhere, like literally just out of nowhere, you know, just over the hills, with all like the verde birds flying escort. That is one of my favourite moments in a video game. Like very rarely am I just like, what the hell, in a video game. I, go, I usually am just like, oh okay, I can see that happening, I can see that coming, blah blah blah. But I remember like the first time after that ma like, epic fight with Kellogg. I was re really like, I was really like proud that I got through it. And then I s step out and I'm just like, what the? I mean, that'll easily go down as one of my favourite moments in a video game. 
And again, it's the benefit of having a game that's single player. You can have moments like that. You can have big sort of environmental, like using the like moments that use the environment then. And you can change the environment with a single player game. Like from now on till towards the end game, the Predwin is going to be in the, the skyline somewhere over Boston. Whereas you can't have that in an online game. It's impossible. Or, uh, it's not impossible, but it would be different. It would, you know, you'd have to, like, split servers and so on. I think Guild Wars do something similar. Where with Guild Wars, it's... The world is fine in the intro. Like, in the first part of the game. And then something cataclysmic happens, and then for the rest of the game, then you're in a different ser like, server, like a post-apocalyptic style thing. Anyway, I've prattled on enough. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here, and in the next episode, I will be in Diamond City, carrying on from, uh, well, there, this one, going to see Piper. And I'll uh, check out the Predwin at some point and soon as well, and see what's happening there. I think it's, is it still moving through the skyline? I can't tell. Anyway, hope you're all enjoying uh, the walkthrough so far, hope you've enjoyed this episode and the commentary. Hopefully it's getting better and better, because I'm still relatively new to the whole commentary thing. Yeah, it is still moving. If you could be so kind as to leave a like, uh, hit the comment section and maybe hit the subs uh, subscribe button, and so you can keep up to date basically with this walkthrough and all my future walkthroughs. For now though, that's pretty much it, so until next time, you take care.